Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. There's a story emerging about um, Patrick Harvey, a man who I like to think of as the strange uncle of Scottish politics. He hangs around a lot, but everybody's very, very aware of him and nobody trusts him. And certainly they don't want to leave him in a room with the kids. Well, it turns out that he wanted some years ago and pressured uh, Nicola Sturgeon to try and do it as well, that he wanted the entire Scottish whisky industry to be nationalised. He didn't like the idea that there was all these different companies making whisky and getting fat off the profits of it. Well, he's a little Marxist. He hates profits, doesn't he? That's the problem with the man. But just think about this for a moment. At what point ever has nationalisation ever improved any commercial product. Every time anything is nationalised, it's made far worse. Now, the whisky industry in Scotland is worth, what, seven, ten, something like that, billion pounds a year. It sells all over the world. It is iconic and it is good. It is a good thing. It employs a lot of people and it creates jobs in all sorts of areas across the whole thing, you know, because you've got the actual production but you've got marketing, you've got transport everywhere. It, there's a lot of work involved. And of course, it, like I say, it generates a huge amount of tax income for the country. And he, jealously, I think it can only be jealousy, looks at these companies making all that money and says, that's not fair, that's not right, let's nationalise it and basically have one Scottish whisky industry. And that, dear friends, would be the end of the Scottish whisky industry. Jobs would be lost. The actual product would weaken. It would be worthless. It would be, it would be an amalgam of all the worst possible things you can do, forced in by a tiny little man who knows nothing about what he, he talks about. He's not a whisky drinker. He doesn't understand the subtleties of the different types of whisky, like the malts, the Eiley, you know, the Eiley whiskies or the the ones from the north, the ones from the south, all sorts of things, P.E., you know, all these different types of whiskies. They all are individual. And uh, he, he doesn't get it. He does not understand the, the very differences of these things and what makes them so special. He just sees it as one homogenous product that he thinks he can push into a single state-controlled entity. And presumably, I suppose, he'd see himself as the man running that state-controlled uh, industry. But to what cost? It would be desperately, desperately sad if that ever happened. Now, fortunately, despite him pushing that, Sturgeon pushed back. Now, I don't know if she's... A, I don't think she's a whiskey drinker herself either. But she pushed back because I think even Sturgeon, mad as she is, would know straight away what an incredibly bad idea this would be. Uh, as Ronnie Reagan said, it was the words that put the fear into most people. Hi, I'm here from the government and I'm going to help you because that would never, ever happen. The, the man is deranged. The man is a lunatic. And thankfully, sense on this one occasion took hold and Sturgeon says no. And they've kept it as a separate entity ever since. Thank heavens for the one time in her life she actually made the right decision. Thank you very much. Speak soon. Bye.